Hi Booktube, my name's Nadine, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to continue with my bookshelf tour. Um, I've recently reorganised all of my shelves and I've tried to fit as many neatly onto my bookcases as I can, but I still have tons in storage, as you'll know if you've been following. Um, so today I'm going to show you my sci-fi shelves. Um, I've dedicated three shelves to sci-fi books, but I do have I do have more books but space you know so yeah let me show you what I've got at the moment okay so starting at the top here um, I've got a few Star Trek um, books so Star Trek Invasion um, so I've read the first one of that so far and then I've got this um, 25th anniversary edition of the classic episodes and then a, a next gen ancient blood uh, book one of four so i used to find tons of star trek books like on car boots and things and i really really regret getting rid of my collection because i must have had a hundred um but yeah they just don't seem to turn up very often anymore um and then i'm trying to pick up the expanse series whenever i can find them so i've got Leviathan Wakes, um, these are by James S.A. Corey, and that's the first one, and then I've got number four, um, Spola Burn. Uh, it's a series I'm convinced that I'm going to love, so yeah, if ever I see them, I, I pick those up. Um, and then I've got some older ones that I got from a car boot sale, I don't know if I've put these in order actually. Um, so, um, Philip Jose Farmer, To Your Scattered Bodies Go. Uh, the Fabulous Riverboat and The Magic Labyrinth and then I've got uh, Philip K. Dick and Roger Zelazny, um, Deuce Ear, I can't read that, yeah, Hi Ray and then some Arthur C. Clarke, 2001 A Space Odyssey and Collected Stories then a bit of Aliens, Can't Beat a Bit of Aliens, Music of the Spears by Yvonne Navarro. And then I've got a few Michael Crichton here, Timeline and Next. Uh, and then I've got another Roger Zelazny, Damnation Alley. Maybe I should put this one over here. There we go. Um, and then Hyperion by Dan Simmons, not a very exciting cover there. And then uh, the John Carter trilogy. Yay, I found it in, when I was going through everything. Uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs. So I've read A Princess of Mars. And then when I went to go and read the next one, I couldn't find this anywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm chuffed to find this again. Um, that was another one that I got from um, Michael K. Vaughan. And then next I've got some Peter F. Hamilton. Um, so I've got... The Temporal Void, and then Manhattan in Reverse, which is um, a collection of short stories. And then uh, I've got Pandora's Star, uh, which is book one of the Commonwealth Saga. Um, and then uh, The Reality Dysfunction, uh, The Neutronium Alchemist. And the Naked God, um, and they are uh, the Night's Dawn series. And then I've got The Abyss Beyond Dreams and Night Without Stars, and they are Commonwealth ones too. And that series was Chronicles of the Fallen, I think. Um, and then I've got some Adrian Tchaikov Tchaikovsky, um, Cage of Souls. And Eyes of the Void, um, this is the second book in a series, so I need to pick up the first one. Um, and then final shelf, um, I've got Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. This was fantastic. I would highly recommend this one. So far, Andy Weir's books have, have all been winners for me, though, to be honest. Um, and then we've got some Becky Chambers. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, A Closed and Common Orbit, 
record of a space-born few and to be taught if fortunate. <laughs> And then we've got some Mercedes Lackey. Um, so this is the Wizard of uh, Cares. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, so that's by Mercedes Lackey, Eric Flint, and Dave Freer. I think this is. I've got these are books two and three of the series. I haven't found the others yet. Um, and the Sorceress of Cares uh, by Eric Flint and Dave Freer. Um, basically, Wizards in Space, from what I can gather. Yeah, I'm looking for book one of that series at the moment. Uh, and I can get it pretty cheaply, I think, on ebook, but it would be nice to have them like nice hardbacks um, all together. Then I've got some SF Masterworks. So um, George R. Stewart's Earth Abides, Jack Finney, The Body Snatchers, um, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick, which I love that, that one much more i love this much more than the film i have to say i know that blade runner is a classic of cinema but i actually find it quite boring but the book the book is amazing um and then bernard wolf's limbo and then a couple of richard matheson so the shrinking man and i am a legend again um, another one that i would really really recommend uh, and then I've got some Ian e M. Banks, so um, use of weapons against the dark background and inversions. Uh, and then a couple of the Dune books. Um, I do have all of them in ebook form, and I did have a really nice um, collector's edition, but it got wrecked. Um, so yeah, Dune the Butlerian Jihad and Man of Two Worlds. Uh, and then uh, we've got Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Uh, Illuminae by um, Anne Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And finally, The Power by Naomi Alderman. Um, so yeah, they are my sci-fi shelves as they are currently. As I said, I've got loads more um, sci-fi novels, but I've just not got the space to put them out at the moment. Um... So yeah, hopefully get a new bookcase soon. I've, I think also quite a lot of my sci-fi is on my Kindle. Um, but yeah, that is it. Uh, next will be a couple of shelves of horror. Um, but yeah, that's my sci-fi. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.